Can the vidIQ app really help your channel? In case you don't know who vidIQ is, it is a company that specializes in helping YouTubers of all different sizes make their channel better and provide a lot of really good tips and tricks in order to make your channel become one of the 25% of channels on YouTube that are monetized. When you first launch the vidIQ app, you will see at the very top that there is a goal in terms of the number of subscribers and this will update based on your channel. If your channel has been increasing the number of subscribers very frequently, then this September 12th may moved up to maybe August 12th. You can also tap on view my progress and then you can see how many subscribers you have at this moment and your goal and how close you are to your goal. You can also see towards the bottom that it has a goal of posting eight videos per month and you can also see your growth plan progress. And this is where the app really shines. You have some bite-sized lessons that you can finish similar to Duolingo. If you use Duolingo, you can complete those lessons really quickly. And the lessons are really, really valuable. Right below our goal, we can see a next section that says optimize recent video. What this does is if you tap on generate score, you can see how vidIQ will rate your video's title and thumbnail. So I have 95 out of 100 for the title and the thumbnail 85 over 100. If we tap on the video, we can also see the feedback. So in terms of the title, you can read all of the feedback here and you can expand it just to get some more information. You can also generate different titles in case you are experimenting with your title style. On the thumbnail side, it's going to be very similar to the title screen and you can see all what is great and then you can also see what needs improvement and you can expand the what needs improvement section as well and you can even change the thumbnail. You tap on details, this gives you the description and the tags, and you can see the tags here and they're rated. If they're in red, then the tags aren't really that good, but if they're yellow, they're all right. What you wanna do is make sure your tags are either yellow or green, and you can also add more tags as well, and you get a list of recommended tags for your video. Towards the bottom of the Today page, you have today's growth plan, and this goes back into the mini bite-sized lessons that you can take. And if you have the membership that allows you to have access to a coach, you will see your coach's icon on the bottom right-hand corner. So shout out to my coach, Dave. He's really good. Now let's move on to the create tab because this is a really powerful tool that this app uses. The create tab allows you to have blueprints for your upcoming video ideas. For example, at the very top, you can see a topic about iPad Pro accessories. And if we tap on preview this topic, it's going to generate some titles and you can edit the titles as well. So let's just select this first one. And then you'll be able to see the thumbnail as well. And you can generate thumbnails to match your style. And then you could just hit continue and then you'll see the outline. So the outline is basically how you want your video to go. And the best part about this is that you can customize your outline. If we hit customize, we can customize the video length. So if we want to do a 10 minute video and then the video type, there are several different types. And depending on what you select, your outline will change. If we change it to a listicle and hit apply, we give it some time and it will generate a new outline based on those parameters, which is pretty, pretty cool. If you hit continue, then you get to the preview section and it just goes over all of the items you've seen on the previous pages and you can save your blueprint. And once you save your blueprint, you can go back to it to reference anytime, which is really, really helpful. The optimize tab is basically just a section where you can generate your title and thumbnail scores like we've shown 
before. The keywords section is another powerful section of this app and it allows you to see all of the different keywords that your viewers or soon to be viewers are looking up on YouTube and you can customize your videos to use these keywords. So if we tap on iPhone 16 camera, for example, there is a score of 50. And this score of 50 would be based on the search volume and the competition level. You can also see the keywords related to the selected keyword. So in case you don't want to use iPhone 16 camera, you can use iPhone 16 launch date, the trailer, 16 Pro, etc. And then you could also scroll all the way to the bottom. You can see the top channels for this search. Lastly, we come to the ideas section. And the ideas page just has a list of daily ideas and it's based on your channel or you can dismiss these. If you save them, then you go to the save tab, you can see it here. And then if you dismiss them, then you can just come back here and you can restore it in the event that you dismiss a idea by accident. On the competitors page, you can see all of your competitors. I believe this section is actually based on your videos as well, because I do not remember adding all of these channels. I know some of these channels. I've watched some of these channels as well. It's really good on what channels vidIQ would consider as your competition. You could also see the top videos from your competitors. You could also see what type of videos your subscribers watch. And you can also see the top channels as well. If you have a fairly small number of subscribers, this page is not really going to be helpful to you. But as you get bigger, pause, then you will get to see that this page is going to be a lot more helpful for you. As always, thank you all for watching the video. It really helps me out. And until next time, I will see you in the next video. Take care.